mental or disability, or it is also one known as MD, that is mathematics or math disability. It's how you say MLD or you say MD. Okay, MD means math difficulty or disability. Okay. So now then we have different okay disabilities that are connected to mathematics. The popular one is called dyscalculia. Dyscalculia. I think I have to if you look at this, this just like dyslexia. Okay. Uh, dyscalculia has to do with okay, the problem that okay an individual okay faces as a result of calculations or computations. So dyscalculia means all those problems that are associated with mathematics, with arithmetic. Our number one in primary school, in kindergarten. Do you know that if you perform a kind of um, a simple experiment, that if you tell them that one, two, uh, let me go use the board. If you, please, I want us to <laughs> pay attention. Do you know that if you, if you tell them like this, you write a six like this. Hmm? No, and then you write a two like this. It depends on which one is bigger, bigger or which one has maybe a higher quantity or higher value. Which one do you think they will choose? They will pick two. <laughs> okay, they will pick two. Because, because yeah, they will like this. So they learn what is called basic number sense. Basic, they learn basic okay, a number, a number sense. And this there's something called number sense. It is the foundation of mathematics. Mathematics is just about numbers. Mathematics is just about numbers. But there are some children, there are some adults, just like the lecturer here. Whenever, whenever I'm reading, I can't, I, I, I'm going to feel, check if there are calculations. Automatic calculations, by it, I'm pissed off. I don't want to see anything that has to do with calculation. Mine is not dyscalculia, but it's called a calculia. Just like what is happening, what happened to him. It's not, it's not dyslexia. Mm -hmm. The foundation he was good at, at math, but situation okay made him made him to, to abandon it. So it's called a calculia. A calculia. And this a calculia too. Like I think the, the director was telling me about or, or share the story of, of a child. I think I some other okay, participants who were saying that a woman was breastfeeding uh, maybe a child and the child mistakenly fell from the woman and the child uh, hit his head okay, on the floor. A search could lead to what? A car. It could also lead to dyslexia depending on where, where, where uh, the, the impairment, okay, where, where the injury it could lead to either dyslexia or a car. Now, a global mass crisis. Do you know that it is not only in Nigeria that we are facing this decline okay, in mathematical geniuses and individual students who are talented in mathematics? It is global, it is a kind of a, <clears throat> just like COVID that affected the entire group. Do you know that this capital is also affecting the entire world apart from Asia? From Asia, the Chinese, you know, I keep saying about there's a reason why I always talk about the Chinese, the Japanese, they are good at mathematics. The Indians, for those of us who always watch maybe films, documentaries, you discover that Indians, Chinese, okay, Japanese, Koreans, and others, they are the ones dominating mathematics. In fact, do you know that there was this uh, study, not was it a study, they conducted an experiment in, in the UK. They brought in some Chinese because the UK wanted to improve, wanted to know the secret, okay, behind okay, Chinese students' mathematical abilities. Are we together? Yes, yes sir. Okay. So they brought in some Chinese math teachers and some English math teachers. So they they, they, they assigned some students to both Chinese teachers and the English teachers. And there was this camera, and they studied them. At the, at the end, they brought the, the two classes together, and they gave them the same math question. 
you know what happened? They discovered that those students who were taught by the Chinese teachers okay, did better than those who were taught by the English teachers. So now, one of the things that the British government is doing is that they are trying to integrate the Chinese mathematics teaching style into what the British teaching style so that they can also improve their maths. So that's to tell you from France, okay, Canada, everywhere, Nigeria, maths crisis. And maths is so important to the success, okay, to one success in this digital economy. There's a lot that you do today that does not require some mathematical knowledge. Is it selling your check? Is it counting money? Is it uh, when you buy something? Or when you buy something on the internet? You want to do some simple, 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 simple everything is about mathematics. Okay, uh, when I wanted to come, I was looking at the time. Okay, should I? Okay, this is 3.30. Let me think if I take an Okada, or can I tell my brother to bring me here? No, let me take an Okada. This is not for, I had to do some calculations. I calculated okay, the distance. If I, if I decide to take a Okada, if I tell my brother to drop me, and stuff like that, I've made some calculations, mathematical calculations. So math is almost everywhere. So one of the problems, one of the things affecting math ability has to do with it's called math phobia. And what is phobia? Yes. What is phobia? You see somebody has phobia. Phobia is fear for yes. it is fear. So do not forget. Anytime you come across phobia, there are some people who have there are different kinds of phobias. I want to go out. Somebody, I want to go out. No way. They will start crying for money tonight. Oh my God! Okay, no, it's called hydrophobia. Hydrophobia. What kind of phobia? Exactly. So it's called. Yeah, exactly. From hydrophobia. So then there are some who are scared of public speaking. If you ask them to come and stand here and talk. Okay. Amen. Hey, you defeated it. Yeah, it is a gift to that thing. Okay, my God. Wow. All over the world. Well, I offer me for this speaking. In fact, there was a kind of a survey conducted. Okay. Only my mother. But I don't know that maybe I can be some kind. I know it that no. I'm very sure and I'm very certain of it. Okay. <laughs> so that, that one, it is not a stage of fright. It is also a phobia. Okay, phobia for public speaking. Then the mass trauma. Ah, mathematics is so dry. It's not that. It's a topic that ah, and that is why most people are not doing well in mathematics. So how do we help people who teach maths? How do we give them? Okay, I get about the brain. So if they, if they integrate it in their mathematical teachings, we discover that they will begin to generate results. And that is the reason why I am here today. Most math teachers are not aware that the brain plays key role in mathematical pedagogy, in mathematical teaching, and mathematical abilities. There are about 10 ideas that they have. Well, that is since the class, so let's go to, we have to. Maybe any class by five, isn't it? Yes. So quickly, math and then let's call. You know, actually, this fourth industrial revolution. It's called fourth industrial. We are in the fourth. Okay, I think I said it the fourth day I came. It's called the fourth industrial revolution. That is why you see things like everywhere AI, uh, robots, and others. Let me write it here for you. The fourth industrial revolution. Everywhere. That's why you can be here and just pick up, even on WhatsApp, you can call somebody in the United States in, from any part of the world. It is called the fourth. 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 Fourth